Nala Sopara, associated with Sherparaka lit, City of Braves, Sirparaka, and formerly known as Sopara, is a town within the Mumbai metropolitan region. The town lies in the Palgar district of Maharashtra. The population of the city was 4 lakh during the 2011 census. It also has railway station on the Western Railway Zone, approximately 57 km from Mumbai. It is governed by the Visai Vira Municipal Corporation VVMC. Nala Sopara is accepted by scholars as the Suparaka or Suparak of ancient India and was a busy trade centre and an important seal of Buddhism. It was also one of the administrative units under the Satavahanas and is mentioned in the inscriptions of Karli, Nashik, Nanahat and Kanheri. Climate It has tropical climate, specifically a tropical wet and dry climate under the Köppen climate classification, with seven months of dryness and peak of rains in July. This moderate climate consists of high rainfall days and very few days of extreme temperatures. The cooler season from December to February is followed by the summer season from March to June. The period from June to about the end of September constitutes the southwest monsoon season, and October and November form the post-monsoon season. The driest days are in winter while the wettest days occur in July. Between June and September, the southwest monsoon rains lash the region. Pre-monsoon showers are received in May. Occasionally, monsoon showers occur in October and November. The average total annual rainfall averages between 2000 to 2500 mm 79 to 98 in. Annually, over 80% of the total rainfall is experienced during June to October. Average humidity is 61 to 86%, making it a humid climate zone. The temperature varies from 22 to 36 degrees Celsius 72 to 97 degrees Fahrenheit. The average temperature is 26.6 degrees Celsius 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and the average precipitation is 2,434 mm in. The average minimum temperature is 22.5 degrees Celsius 72.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The daily mean maximum temperature range from 28.4 degrees Celsius (83.1 degrees Fahrenheit) to 33.4 degrees Celsius (92.1 degrees Fahrenheit), while the daily mean minimum temperature ranges from 17.5 degrees Celsius (63.5 degrees Fahrenheit) to 26.4 degrees Celsius (79.5 degrees Fahrenheit). In winter, temperature ranges between 12 to 25 degrees Celsius (54 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit), while summer temperature ranges from 36 to 41 degrees Celsius (97 to 106 degrees Fahrenheit). Topic: History. Topic: Sopara. Sopara, Sopara by some identified with the Ophir mentioned in the Hebrew texts was an ancient port town and the capital of the ancient Aparanta. The ancient port of Sopara was an important port in western India, which operated under the celebrated port of Cambay. The site of this ancient town is located near the present-day Nala Sopara. In ancient times, it was the largest township on India's west coast, trading with Mesopotamia, Egypt, Cochin, Arabia and eastern Africa. The Mahabharata and the Puranas state that the Sirparaka was reclaimed from the sea for the dwelling place of Parashurama and it became a Tirtha for this reason. The finding of the relics in a stupa and the rock edicts the fragments of the 8th and 9th major rock edicts of Ashoka in 1882 prove the importance of this port town from the 3rd century BCE to the 9th century CE. The Buddhist text Mahavamsa v. 46, 47 states that the first king of Sri Lanka, Vijaya sailed from Suparaka Sopara to Sri Lanka. Ptolemy mentioned this town as Supara, and it was a major commercial center during his time according to the Jaina writers. Shripala, a mythical king married Tilakasundari, daughter of King Mahasena of Soparaka. Jinnaprabhasori in his Vividatirthakalpa mentioned Soparaka as one of 84 Jaina Tirthas sacred places. He also mentioned about an image of Rishabhadeva located in this city till his time. The earliest reference occurs in Mahabharata as Shuparak. 
Sapara Jataka, believed to be of 6th century BC, talks of Sopara as a prosperous port trading with ports of SW Asia, Gujarat, Malabar and Sri Lanka, its experts navigation pilots bodhisattvas, and the seas that they voyaged across. From about 3rd or 4th century BC precise historic data can be pieced together. During primeval time, it was a colossal city of India Western Ghats and was one of the major ports for foreign trading. India was trading with Arabia, Africa, Egypt and Rome via this port. It has also been suggested that King Hiram of Tyre brought gold, precious stones and almug trees for Solomon from this city that was called Land of Ophir. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Excavations at Sopara. In April 1882, Bhagvanlel Indraji, a noted archaeologist, numismatist and epigraphist excavated at the Burid Rajashe Khat Mound in Merd's village, near Sopara. The ruins of a Buddhist stupa was found. From the center of the stupa inside a, brick -built chamber, a large stone coffer was excavated which contained eight bronze images of Maitreya Buddha which belonged to the c. 8th-9th century CE. This coffer also enclosed relic caskets of copper, silver, stone, crystal and gold, along with numerous gold flowers and fragments of a begging bowl. A silver coin of Gotamiputra Satakarni was also found from the mound. The Bombay provincial government presented the Sopara relics to the Asiatic Society of Bombay. The coins and the artifacts found during the excavations at the site of this ancient town can still be viewed in the Asiatic Society, Mumbai Museum. In an old Muslim graveyard near Ramkund, the fragments of 8th and 9th major rock edicts of Ahsoka were found. These rock edicts can be viewed in the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalaya, Mumbai. The site was re-excavated by M. M. Qureshi of the Archaeological Survey of India in 1939-40, when several stone lintels and two small stupas were found on the south side of the main stupa in addition to a few sherds of plain glazed ware of the Muslim period. Anwar Munshi 1972 found a number of Satavahana lead coins at Sopara. In 1956, a fragment of 11th major rock edict was found from a coastal village, Buigayan. During an excavation in 1993, a ring well, fragments of Roman amphorae red polished ware and glass all belong to the early centuries of the Common Era were found. The ancient habitation site lies two kilometers away from the stupa which overlooks the dry creek on the south and on the east opens to Thane Creek. A large quantity of Islamic glazed ware, black and red ware were found at the site. It seems that during the early historical period Sopara was located on the mainland facing Agashi Island on the north and Basane to the south. The backwaters between the mainland and the island were suitable for the movement and anchorage of ships. Gas and Nirmal villages were once part of the creek. A number of tanks and architectural remains are noticed in the areas adjoining these villages. All the ancient relics were found in the area between the stupa and the creek. Up to the 19th century this creek was navigable and ships of 20 tons used to ply here. The significance of the architectural pieces becomes more important when the surface findings are taken into account. The area around Batella Pond is a landing place or bunder, where even remains of a Portuguese jetty and customs house are seen. Exploration 1994 in the adjoining area has yielded red polished ware and glazed ware. The evidence is further corroborated by a joint excavation in 1993 carried out by the Archaeological Survey of India and the British Academy, Hyderabad Ware Antiquities of the Early Historical Period Satavahana and Kashatrapa period. Lead and copper coins, semi-precious stone beads, small fragments of northern black polished ware, amphorae pieces and Islamic blue glazed ware were discovered. An earthen wall and a 14 coarse stone wall with varying sizes of stone blocks were also encountered during this excavation. It is clearly evident from the archaeological and literary sources that Sopara was the main entrepot dating from the pre Asakan period up to the 3rd century AD and again from 9th to 13th century AD. There is no evidence of cultural remains from 4th to 9th century and it seems that during this period Sopara had lost its importance. The main cause for the decline of the ancient port of Sopara was due to the effect of siltation caused by a rise in sea level. Further near shore and offshore marine archaeological exploration and excavation would be helpful to ascertain the extent of the ancient port city. <laughs> Sopara Edicts of Ashoka 
The following are translations of the fragments of the edicts found at Sopara by A. L. Basham and Romila Thapar. In these edicts, Ashoka refers to himself as Devanampiya, beloved of the gods, and Piyadasi, the handsome one. Topic: <laughs> Eighth Major Rock Edict. In the past, kings went on pleasure tours, which consisted of hunts and other similar amusements. The beloved of the gods, the king Piyadasi, when he had been consecrated for ten years, went to the Tree of Enlightenment. From that time arose the practice of tours connected with Dhamma, during which meetings are held with ascetics and Brahmins, gifts are bestowed, meetings are arranged with aged folk, gold is distributed, meetings with people of the countryside are held, instruction in Dhamma is given, and questions on Dhamma are answered. The beloved of the gods, the king Piyadasi, derives more pleasure from this, than from any other enjoyments. Topic. Ninth Major Rock Edict Thus speaks the beloved of the gods, the king Piyadasi, people practice various ceremonies in illness, at the marriage of sons and daughters, at the birth of children, when going on a journey, on these and on other similar occasions people perform many ceremonies. Women especially perform a variety of ceremonies, which are trivial and useless. If such ceremonies must be performed they have but small results. But the one ceremony which has great value is that of Dhamma. This ceremony includes regard for slaves and servants, respect for teachers, restrained behavior towards living beings, and donations to sramanas and brahmins. These and similar practices are called the ceremony of Dhamma. So father, son, brother, master, friend, acquaintance and neighbor should think, this is virtuous, this is the ceremony I should practice, until my object is achieved. Topic. Demographics As of 2011 India census, Nala Sopara had a population of 4.6 lakh, it shows Nala Sopara's population grew to 4.6 lakh in 2011 from 2.3 lakh in 2001 census, it is one of the well-known suburbs in Mumbai. Males constitute 54% of the population and females 46%. Nala Sopara has an average literacy rate of 79%, higher than the national average of 74.04%, male literacy is 77%, and female literacy is 82%. In Nala Sopara, 13% of the population is under 6 years of age. This area has witnessed very steep rise of population due to the cheapest property rates in the Mumbai suburban railway area, steep rise of property rates in Mumbai and being well connected to Mumbai city by local train services. Sopara is becoming dense in population as residents from Uttar Pradesh and Bihar are migrating in huge numbers in the eastern part of town, the western part of the town still have its glory as it contains more literate people. Among minority languages, Gujarati is spoken by 17.82% of the population and Hindi by 22.92%. <laughs> Places of importance <laughs> Chakrashwar Mahadev Mandir The Chakrashwar Mahadev Mandir 19.416982 degrees north 72.798733 degrees east, 19.416982, 72.798733 is a very ancient shrine of Lord Shiva. This is a relatively small temple and is noted as the holy place where Swami Samarth performed Dhyanam, Pratishtha of a Ram Mandir nearby and blessed a Sishya who undertook a Sajiva Samadhi at this very place. The temple lies at one corner of the Chakreshwar Lake in Nalasopara West, the era of construction is not clearly known. However this is a Siddha Pradesa, where many great sages attained moksha by serving the Lord. The temple was attacked by invaders and many of the idols were thrown into the nearby Chakresvar Talao lake. Many such old and rare idols were recovered later and put up in the current temple structure. The present structure is relatively new and small.
Topic schools Alphabetical order Adarsh Education Societies Kapol School Agape Preschool Abdut Bhagwan Ram English High School Abdut Bhagwan Ram Vidyalaya BN Memorial High School Chandresh Loda Memorial High School Divine Life School Divine Providence High School Evergreen High School GD Ideal High School Gurukul English High School Holy Angels School Holy Mary English School Holy Cross High School Nirmal Indira Gandhi School and JR. College Infant J Divine Life School Infant Jesus High School Iris School and Junior College JBS High School Kanchan High School and Junior College Christ Raj High School Kids Corner KMPD High School Little Flowers English High School Little Star Play Group Nursery Lokmanya High School and Junior College Mother Mary's English High School Mount Mary's High School New English School, Sopara Newton Vidyalaya Pancham High School and Junior College of Arts and Science Purushottam School Rahul International School Rana Pratap Madhyamik Vidyalaya and Junior Collage Santosh Bawan Raja Shivaji Vidyalaya Reckon Public Academy RK International School Rosary International Boarding School Ryan International School Sacred Heart High School Shivaji Vidya Mandir High School Saraswati High School Seth Vidya Mandir SKC School SMT KL Tawari College of Architecture Sopara English High School St. Aloysius High School St. Anthony High School Street Agosti High School St. Francis de Sales High School St. Joseph and Mary Convent School St. Luke's English High School and Junior College St. Mary's English High School St. Paul High School St. Willibird International School Sudarshan English High School Summer Field School Thakur Vidya Mandir High School The Crayons Pre-Primary School Treehouse School U.S. Ostwal English High School and Junior College Vinay Vidyalaya Vidya Verity Vidyalaya and Junior College Vidya Bhushan Hindi Vidyalaya Vidya Bhushan Marathi Vidyalaya Zuleka Begum Balumian Zakaria English High School Nirmal Vidyalaya Niramal School Emmanuel English School Topic Industrialization The eastern part of Nala Sopara is highly industrialized, with small and medium scale units producing a wide variety of goods. Many industries are set up in Nala Sopara. Transportation Train network, and road network connect Nala Sopara with all the other area of Mumbai city. Train, bus, auto, and private taxi services are the mode of transportation. Now the land acquisition started for Mumbai Metro project. Real estate market is in upswing from few months now. Topic. Reference in literature A Gujarati novel based historical events written by Zavarchand Megani named Gujaratno J mentions that parents of famous Jain layman Vastupal and Tejpal who constructed Dilwara temples had stayed in Sopara for some period of time after running away from home. See also Indian maritime history Surparaka Kingdom